In today's video, I'm going over an awesome lighting setup for YouTube videos, an 18 inch dimmable ring light, all its features, and why I think a ring light really can be a one light solution to greatly improving the lighting quality of your videos. Hey guys, this is Eric of Immersive Tech TV, and on this channel I review awesome tech, gadgets, apps, and accessories. So if you're new here today, definitely consider subscribing to catch future videos just like this one. Also guys, just to let you know, down in the description box below, I'll include a link where you can find this ring light, as well as some of my other recommended ring lights for every budget. So I'm going to break down this review into four parts. First off, I'm going to talk about the build and design quality of this ring light. Next up, I'm going to talk about how to adjust the dimmable brightness features on it. Thirdly, I'm going to talk about how to set up this ring light on either your tripod or the mini desk tripod. Fourthly, I'm going to talk about the benefits of using a ring light versus other types of lighting when it comes to video. So with all that being said, let's first start off with the design quality of this ring light. The Diva Ring Light Nebula is an 18 inch dimmable ring light perfect for photography, videos, and YouTubers. The Diva Ring Light's dimmable setting is a really great feature because if you're in a situation where you have low light when you're shooting video or for shooting photography, the built-in 0 to 100% dimmer really does allow you to reduce your output. The housing of this ring light is really quality construction. It features an 18 inch diameter circular black hard plastic housing with a reflective white interior to really help increase light output as well. This ring light comes equipped with 640 daylight balanced LED bulbs that pack a lot of punch. And in fact, this particular LED ring light model is 15% brighter than their other fluorescent bulb ring light models. They also include a diffusion cloth that easily straps right onto the light. You can easily put it on or remove it. And this really does help soften the light and helps diffuse the harshness of the light. And I'll show you some examples coming up with and without the diffusion cloth. When it comes to mounting this ring light, they do give you two options. They include a light stand gooseneck arm or a tripod Z bracket mount to connect to your tripod as well. Another great feature that's built into these ring lights is that they're virtually heat free. LED bulbs are nearly heat free, so you can really have the light right up to your face and not have to worry at all about overheat or sweating, which really does come in handy for shooting videos. In terms of the battery life, this ring light has a long battery life. These LED bulbs last longer than any fluorescent or incandescent bulb. In fact, LEDs can last approximately 50,000 hours, so you never have to worry about a bulb going out right when you're shooting photography or your videos. Lastly, this ring light is very easy to transport. If you ever need to move your ring light from one location to another, the ring light is really ideal for that. By removing fragile fluorescent bulbs, the Nebula ring light can easily be transported from one location to another without the fear of your bulb breaking. So just to show you guys, if you happen to put this on the compatible mini desk tripod, for example, and you want to film on a desk surface, you just place this on the desk, prop on the ring light, it's really easy to do. And again, you can, put, you can mount your camera right here onto the mount that comes with the desk tripod. So you can get your light and your camera all on one little mini tripod. And basically you just put the camera right over here and you adjust the light to your setting. So as you can see, it gets really light, really bright, really bright. That's a full 100%. Depending on what you need, you can adjust it. But just to give you an idea, it's pretty cool that you can put both your camera and light on one device. So this is a sample of having the ring light around the camera like I just talked about, all on one tripod. Right now it's 0% without the diffuser. I'm gonna show you an example. We're gonna crank it up right now. Now this is about 25%. So you got 0%, about 25% right there. And I can't really see the, the, the uh, dial on the back, but as I'm going up, you can see it gets really bright. This is again without the diffuser. So I highly recommend the diffuser. But again, uh, depending on your needs, you may, if you want to get like really up close to the camera, you may like a brighter, uh, higher setting because it allows you to capture more detail. But uh, for me, a little further back and a little less light is fine with me. Now I'm going to show you a demonstration of that same thing, but with the diffuser on, so you can see the difference. And here's the sample again, in the same position with the diffuser on now. This is at 0%. I'm going to start cranking it up so you can see. So as you can see, it's starting to get brighter. I think it's, I think it's a lot more comfortable with the diffuser on because it's not as bright in your eyes. So I definitely suggest keeping that on. See, here I am at 100% now. But even with the diffuser on in the higher range, it's still it's not as bad on, as bright on your eyes, really. So I, I like the diffuser a lot, actually. It's uh, and it's easy to take on and off if you ever need to. Um, but yeah, I really like how this looks. Uh, like I said, this light is really great for those that do a lot of close up um, footage of their face. Uh, a lot of makeup artists use this light. I'm not a makeup artist, 
as you may know. But uh, I think it's going to be great for my purposes. I really like this light. I wanted to try it out because I wanted to have an easier setup. That was my main reason for trying this light out. And I think it's going to work out just great. Even if I stand a little further back, zoom out the camera a bit, it still lights me up better than my umbrella lights. And I used to have two umbrella lights on the side. So I think really it has, it's very versatile for a wide range of filmers and people, whether you're a makeup artist or you're like me and you do, you know, you're, you're sitting at a desk. So I think it's, there's a lot of options, a lot of versatility for sure. Another cool feature with the ring light that a lot of people like is if they're doing really up close stuff, it kind of gives that ring effect in your, in your eye, if you could see. Um, so that's, I guess, cool for some people. If you get really close up, that's another cool bonus. And now I'm going to show you how to set up this ring light on both your tripod as well as the mini desk tripod that it's compatible with. So to attach this ring light to the compatible mini desktop tripod stand, all you have to do is screw on the bracket to the bottom of your ring light with the included screws. And after that, you'll screw on the clamp to the tripod body itself. And as you can see, that's pretty much it for the desktop setup. Once you've attached the bracket onto the bottom of the ring light and then clamped the bracket onto your tripod stand, you're pretty much all set, ready to go. You just have to place your camera on top of the tripod and you're all set. Now let's talk about if you don't want to use it on the desktop stand, but instead you want to use it on your standard larger tripod. In this case, it's also very easy as well. All you have to do is use the Z bracket that they give you and screw that in to the bottom of your ring light. Again, this is a very similar process from screwing in the smaller bracket to the bottom of your ring light. Once you've attached the Z bracket to your ring light, then you just simply have to attach the Z bracket and ring light to your tripod. Now this will vary depending on your tripod, but in general, pretty much all you have to do is just screw it in to your tripod thread. As you can see, this is now the final setup when you've attached your ring light onto the top of your tripod. And again, the Z bracket allows you to attach your camera onto the top of the Z bracket, which can then go right through the ring light. So simply screw in your camera on top of the Z bracket like you would any cold shoe mount, and you're pretty much all set to go with this setup as well. So overall, while the Diva ring light is a little bit more expensive than traditional lighting such as soft boxes and umbrella lights, I really feel it's a great one light solution to improve the quality of your videos. It's extremely portable, it's very easy to set up and take down, and I love how it's low heat, which means it's great for filming. Again, if you'd like to learn more about the three different types of Diva ring lights, I'll link down below where you can find them, as well as some other ring lights I recommend for every budget. So let me know what you guys think about ring lights for YouTube videos. I'm interested to hear about your lighting setup. Thanks for checking out today's video on the Diva ring light. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button, and definitely subscribe to catch new weekly videos on more awesome tech, gadgets, apps, and accessories. And if you would like to see my review of a more budget-friendly lighting setup for YouTube videos, feel free to check out my review of the Limo Studio Umbrella Lighting Kit right over here. Lastly, if you have any questions about the Diva ring light, feel free to leave them down below in the comments and I'd be happy to answer them for you. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.